What up, people? It's your boy, Billy Mack, back again. Another off-season preview. We're talking about the tight ends. This is going to be a very short video because all we got is Dalton Schultz, Jeremy Sprinkle, Sean McEwen, and um, Blake Jarwin. I'm going to be honest with you. From, from a fan standpoint and from a GM standpoint, they all, I don't need none of them. I don't need none of them. I kind of like Sean McEwen. Sean McEwen kind of, if 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 there's even a way to explain it, Sean McEwen's kind of like a poor man's Dalton Schultz. He seems like he's reliable. The issue with these tight ends, though, none of them can block. None of them can block. And we already got issues on the offensive line. That's going to be the next video. None of these guys can block. Dalton Schultz is probably going to make a lot of money because it is his last it's his last year. He's on the last year of his contract. He's probably going to make a lot of money. And it just goes to show you how crappy these GMs are in this league. Dalton Schultz can't block to save his life. He's decent at best. At best. He's decent. And he's going to, he's going to get probably 10, between 10 and $12 million if the market says so. I don't know if I would, excuse me, I don't know if I would even bring him back for that much. I don't know if I would do it. I, I can't find another, if, unless you can bring him back for cheap, cheap, he's gone. Everybody up, Blake Jarwin will still be here and Sean McEwen will still be here. Jeremy Sprinkle, he was third spring, third string, but he's kind of like a veteran guy, just been around the league kind of guy. I don't think they'll bring him back. Unless they liked what they saw on tape, I don't think they're bringing him back. So look forward to next year. It's going to be Blake Jarwin and Sean McEwen. Hopefully they'll draft a guy who can actually block. But um, we shall see. It's your boy Billy Beck, and I'll holler at y'all next time. Hey.